Hello, my name is Stephanie Wardlow, a senior program manager with the Alzheimer's Association. In Florida, hurricanes can be a real threat. To ensure you and your loved one living with dementia have a plan, we've partnered with the University of South Florida to bring you a disaster preparedness guide for dementia caregivers available at your local Florida chapter website. For Central and North Florida, go to alz.org forward slash CNFL. For Florida Gulf Coast, go to alz.org forward slash FL Gulf Coast. And for Southeast Florida, go to alz.org forward slash SE Florida. At any time, you can access resources. We're here to help you and those impacted by Alzheimer's and dementia. We offer a host of educational and support programs. You can learn about Alzheimer's treatments, planning, caregiving, and more through our in-person or virtual education programs. Or join a confidential support group, which help attendees develop coping methods, encourage self-care, learn about community resources, and optimize care techniques. Use the community resource finder at alz.org forward slash CRF to view upcoming programs and support groups. Lastly, call our 24-7 helpline. Our helpline is 1-800-272-3900 and is available around the clock 365 days a year. Through this service, specialists and uh, master's level clinicians offer confidential support and information to people living with the disease, caregivers, families, and the public. Stay safe and know that we're here to help you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lindsay Peterson. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Aging Studies at the University of South Florida. And we've conducted research to help caregivers prepare for disasters. And I wanna share some of that information with you today about what to do if you plan to shelter at home. One of the first things is to think about the day-to-day -day needs and habits of the person you provide care for and how to get along for at least seven days after the disaster occurs. Designate a space in your home where you would store the critical items that you've put together for your hurricane preparedness and your disaster preparedness. Here are some critical items to think about having. Cash, in case there's a power outage, that prevents you from using ATM machines and credit cards, medications for at least two weeks, and you should probably call your doctor as soon as you know that a hurricane or a disaster is coming your way if you have advanced preparedness, if you have advanced notice, and talk to them about getting some extra supplies of medications for the person you care for. Water, at least seven gallons per person, that would be for seven days food for at least seven days with a large supply of items that don't need refrigeration. Be sure to include some comfort foods in here. You wanna do your best to create a sense of normalcy amid the situation and having comfort foods can be really important for that. Also be sure to have a manual can opener in case you can't use your electric can opener or um, get only the, the items that you can get the tops off of very easily. You will need probably extra first aid, hygiene, and home cleaning supplies, as well as pet food and supplies if you have a pet. And think about other critical items that you may need, depending upon, again, the needs and the habits of the person that you provide care for. What if your power goes out? How will you provide light and maintain a cell phone charge or follow the news? have at least one battery oper operated radio and enough batteries and the type of batteries that you need for that radio. If possible, consider an all-in-one solar powered hand crank radio that includes a USB charger and flashlight. Be able to light more than run one room at once. So this means having multiple flashlights or battery powered lanterns, which you can find at most of the home supply stores. Avoid candles. Don't forget extra batteries for everything that you have that needs batteries. Also consider extra power sources, such as a power bank to charge your phone, laptop, or tablet. And these can be found at the major electronic stores. Here's some important things to think about. The loss of water and power could prevent you from doing laundry. So create a supply of clean towels and linens, as well as hygiene supplies, including body wipes for bathing. Make and freeze some meal-sized servings of your loved one's favorite dishes. And then as the 
disaster is approaching, you can put those meals in an ice filled cooler. And then if you have an outdoor grill, you can heat them up with the grill or with the camp stove. This is something that could help you create a sense of normalcy that could be very, very important. Be sure to keep some ice packs handy to cool yourself or a loved one if you do lose power and it becomes very hot. Also plan to have some calming activities that don't re require power. Folding laundry, doing puzzles, playing games. The most important thing to remember is that you are not alone. There are a lot of agencies out there that are working to help you as the disaster approaches. And there's the Alzheimer's Association. The Alzheimer's Association 24-hour helpline number is 1-800-272-3900. Also, there's a link in the document for in the in the description of this video to the disaster guide that we've prepared and you can call that up and read through it yourself but again remember that you can do this and you're not alone thank you